Hello and welcome to uh, another how to Django tutorial. As always, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. In today's tutorial, um, we're going to go ahead and learn how to work with request and response using uh, query strings in Django. I do apologize in advance, I do not feel very well. So if I'm not very energetic or uh, explaining everything properly, I do apologize. I'm going to try to do my best though. So let's get started. What we want to do here is basically we want to handle something like this. Uh, forward slash question mark name equal to Tom. All right. Right there. Uh, basically, the question mark indicates a query. Name is uh, the variable of that query. And then the value is Tom. Notice the equal sign in there. And what I want us to do is be able to say, hello, Tom, I'm learning Django. And this is going to show you request and response, basically, in um, uh, Django. This is probably the lowest level of doing it. But I'm going to show you how to do it. And this, this works great if you're working with filters or something like that in your project. You'll be able to um, do queries like this. So first things first let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to change world to uh, show Tom so go ahead and open up your text editor um, in here we need to get the uh, request to get uh, method uh, of the request so we got to go ahead and get that and the way we do that is we're going to create a variable called query and that's going to hold our query and we're going to set it equal to request request dot get the first one is all caps the second one's all lowercase and we're going to pass in the variable na variables name from the query string which is name so we'll pass that in all right next we want to format our message here so we'll take out world and we're going to use a curly brace and a curly brace and then back here is basic python 3 formatting and we're just going to do format and we're going to pass in query all right, we'll save. The, oh, you don't have. I don't have to save on PyCharm, but if you do, save it. All right, we're gonna come back and refresh. Uh, refresh. All right. So what I want to do now is the question mark name Tom, and you notice when I put in this query string here, question mark name equal to Tom. I get hello Tom. I am learning Django awesome that's what we were looking for so basically what we're doing at this point is we're using request get and um get is getting the query name and getting that value all right and it's returning it here very simple stuff all right uh the next thing we want to do is have the user put in their name and then we'll return a message all right so how do we do that? Well, we're going to open up our h our home.html and we're going to use an if statement in the Django template. So we do that by doing curly brace percent symbol and then we're going to say if request dot get dot um, crap is it name? Yeah, I think it's name. All right. Anyhow, basically we're going to say if request dot get dot name exist go ahead and return our message if it does not exist we're going to say else and then we're going to have a form in here so let's just go ahead and create a very simple form Oops. like that and then on our um in our form we're going to have to pass a couple of things we're going to have to say it's a method is get so we got to get and then um, we need an action, I believe. So we're going to add an action. And we're going to say it's going to be our URL to our home page. So uh, curly brace, percent symbol, um, URL, uh, quote, then home, then quote. And this is where that name of the URL comes into play that I was talking about the other day uh right here name home that's where it comes into play when i use url all right and then we're going to need input so we'll just do input and in here um we're going to need name is equal to name all right so that the name of our query string is we want it to be name all right 
Um, then we're going to need a value and we're going to set this equal to a variable in the template in Django. So we're going to say two curly braces on each side and then we're going to do request dot get dot name. All right. Um, man, I'm really dragging them. I do apologize. And then we're just going to create a button here and we need a type. So we're going to say type is equal to submit and we'll just say, uh, submit. How's that sound? All right. <clears throat> Let me just make sure it's right. Yeah, that looks right. And uh, one thing we are forgetting is the end if statement. If you don't have an end if statement, you'll get an error. So we'll throw that in there. So it ends our if statement up here. And let's go back into our browser and take out our query string. Take that out, hit return. And now we got a form and a button. So I'm going to say Joe. And we're going to submit it. And it says, hello, Joe, I'm learning Django. All right, so <clears throat> basically that's what I could come up with for today is basic response and uh, request and response. Um, so just review this real quick. Query string is indicated by a question mark. Then you got your uh, variable, if you will, equal sign, and then your value, all right? In our in our Django project, basically what we're doing is we create a variable called query. It's going to represent request dot get dot get, and it's going to get name. So what this does is it looks at the request, and we're pulling request right there. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the get value, and we're going to get the name. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. We're going to get the name. Um, of that variable that's in the query string and then we just return the value down here in query and we format it with basic Python 3 formatting in here <clears throat> in our home.html uh, we use an if statement in the template we use request.get.name so we're saying hey get us name all right um if that exists we're going to go ahead and return the message to uh the user if it does not exist we're going to go ahead and say else and we're going to display our form uh our methods get because we're getting a value from the user uh action we're returning the home page so when the person clicks on the submit button we want the home page to be returned and then input um the name of our variable is going to be name the value right here is basically returning the value, the request.get value name um, on the end of this uh, URL up here. And the submit, submit button is how we pass it through. All right. And don't forget your end of. So that's basically what I got today. I'm going to go uh, get some rest now. So if you guys uh, have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.